a computer operator came to your hospital with the complaints of pain pricking sensation on the dorsum of the right hand, he also showed the problem is more severe over the digit 1 and 2. On examination, you found there is weakness of the wrist, dorsiflexion and finger extension is also weakened. Which of the following nerve you think is injured? Radial nerve, ulnar nerve, median nerve, axillary nerve. The answer would be radial nerve. The radial nerve compression or injury can occur at any point along its anatomical course. The most frequent site of compression is in the proximal forearm in the area of supinative muscle and involves the posterior interosseous branch. Problems can occur proximally in relation to the fracture of humerus at the junction of the middle and proximal third as well as distally on the radial aspect of the wrist. The symptoms depend on the site of the lesion. The most common complaint is wrist drop. If the lesion is high above the elbow, the numbness of the forearm and the hand may be an additional complaint. If the lesion is in the forearm, sensation typically is spared despite the wrist drop. Pain in the forearm resembling tennis elbow may be prominent. In this presentation, there is initially acute pain lasting for several days to weeks. If the lesion is above the wrist, patients complain of isolated sensory changes and paresthesia over the back of the hand without motor weakness. Radial neuropathy typically presents with weakness of the wrist dorsiflexion, which is also called wrist drop, and finger extension. If the lesion is in the axilla, all radial innervated muscles are involved. The triceps and brachioradialis reflexes are decreased. Decrease of sensation occur over the triceps, the posterior part of the forearm and dorsum of the hand. Acute compression of the radial nerve commonly occur at the spiral groove of humerus. If the lesion is at this level, all radial innervated muscles distal to the triceps are weak. Triceps reflex is preserved, but brachioradialis is decreased. Sensory loss is over the radial dorsal part of the hand and posterior part of the forearm. Numbness over the triceps is variable. In isolated posterior interosseous lesion, sensation is spared and motor involvement occurs in the radial muscle, distal to the supinator. The extensor carpi radial is sometimes is also spared, resulting in radial deviation of the wrist extension. Pain may occur with palpation at the proximal forearm and with first full supination. In distal radial sensory lesion at the wrist, no motor weakness occurs. Numbness of the dorsal of the hand is noted, sparing the fifth digit.